for your money this morning, imposter scammers are trying a new tactic that has gotten the attention of the Federal Trade Commission. It starts with them sending you a fake invoice for something you never ordered. And our Zach Myers is back to show us where the scam goes from here, Zach. That's right, Melissa. Those fake invoices can look very realistic, and imposter scammers are getting better at using them all the time. Online crooks even try to fake communications like from Netflix or Best Buy Geek Squad, even companies that provide cybersecurity like Norton. The latest version involves a double fake out. So according to the FTC, people have been getting emailed invoices from big names like Amazon, Apple and others confirming that an, an order that never even really happened. If it works, the potential victim freaks out and calls the fake customer service number on the email. In some cases, the person on the other line just tries to get the victim to pay the fraudulent bill. In other cases, the person says, oh, the bill was already deducted from your account and it's been refunded, but oops, we refunded too much money. Could you please pay back the remainder? Now, that may obviously sound very scammy, like this guy, when I lay it out like that, but people are falling for this or the scammers wouldn't be doing it. Usually because the scammers make it sound very urgent and the victims get flustered. So as always, the best way to handle one of these situations is to not trust any link or phone number sent in an unsolicited email, especially if it's from a company you don't even do business with. If you do have a Netflix account and you get something that looks like it's from them, you can still avoid the link or the number they give you. Just go to your account on their website and start looking into it from there. You're probably going to find that there's no problem with your account and you can delete the bogus email and invoice and report it to the FTC. Reporting it is very important because that helps the FTC to take records of this and start tracking trends in the scamming world and send out warnings about emerging threats. I have a link on how to report fraud to the FTC attached to this story right now at CBS4Indy.com. For your money, I'm Zach Myers.